This video will cover the topic, Finding Values of Trigonometric Functions Given Information About an Angle, Problem Type 2. In this topic, we will be given a trigonometric ratio in a quadrant, and we will need to use this information to determine the lengths of all three sides of a right triangle. This information will allow us to solve for the other two trigonometric ratios asked for in the given problem. Okay, so we will be given a trigonometric ratio, and we can use the mnemonic SOKOTOA to determine the two sides of the right triangle given in the problem, right? Exactly. Let's look at an example. Let theta be an angle in quadrant 1, such that sine of theta equals 3 fourths. Find the exact values of secant of theta and tangent of theta. We can start by recalling that the sine of theta is equal to the opposite over the hypotenuse. Thus, the opposite side is 3, and the hypotenuse is 4. Since we are given that the angle is in quadrant 1, we know the values of r and y and need to use the Pythagorean theorem to solve for x, the adjacent side, right? That's right. Substituting the values for r and y into the Pythagorean theorem and solving for x results in x squared plus 3 squared equals 4 squared, which simplifies to x equals plus or minus the square root of 7. However, since we know that the angle is in quadrant 1, where both x and y are positive, the x-coordinate must be the positive square root of 7. Next, we can substitute side lengths into the trigonometric identities for secant and tangent of theta. Secant of theta equals the hypotenuse over the adjacent side, which simplifies to 4 times the square root of 7 over 7, and tangent of theta equals the opposite side over the adjacent side, which simplifies to 3 times the square root of 7 over 7. Okay, I think I'm starting to understand this topic, but can we do another quick example just to be sure? Sure. Consider the following example. Let theta be an angle in quadrant 3 such that the cosine of theta equals negative 4 fifths. Find the exact values of cosecant of theta and cotangent of theta. The cosine is equal to the adjacent over the hypotenuse. Thus, the values of x and r are given to be negative 4 and 5, respectively. Substituting these values into the Pythagorean theorem yields negative 4 squared plus y squared equals 5 squared. Solving for y yields plus or minus the square root of 9, and since quadrant 3 has negative values for x and y, we can simplify the square root of 9 to negative 3, right? Exactly. Substituting the values for hypotenuse and opposite side into the trigonometric identity for cosecant of theta yields negative 5 thirds. And substituting adjacent and opposite sides for cotangent of theta equals 4 thirds. Okay, I think I'm starting to understand this topic, but let me quickly summarize just to be sure. We start by identifying the sides given by the trigonometric identity, and then use the Pythagorean theorem to solve for the third side. We then identify whether the values of x and y are positive or negative based on the quadrant that the angle is located in. Lastly, we substitute the appropriate two values into the trigonometric ratios given in the problem. That's right. 